Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. From this video, we're gonna start a new series named as Hack the Web. So in this series, we're gonna learn various type of web attacks like SQL injection, broken access control, cross-site scripting and a lot more. So in the first video of this series, we're gonna see how you can install Webgoat. This is the official GitHub repository of Webgoat. So if you don't know what is Webgoat, then Webgoat is a vulnerable web application system which is used to learn website penetration testing and web hacking. So the link of the GitHub repository is available in the description. You can directly go to this page. Now let's see how you can install Webgoat in our local Linux machine. So I'm going to go a little bit down. As you can see, here it is showing the installation instructions. We can install this on Docker. But the method I'm going to show you in this video is standalone. So first of all, we have to download a .zar file from this provided URL. I'm going to do open this URL in new tab. Here different version of Webgoat is available. I'm going to download the latest one. I'll click on it. So here is a .jar file. Click on it and it will automatically start downloading. I'm not going to download it as I already downloaded it. Now let's go to the download folder. As you can see, the .jar file is already downloaded. Now open the terminal here. So let's go to the official repository page of webcode. So copy the second command, come back to the terminal, paste the command here. But do we need to change the file name? Now hit enter and it will start the webcode. As you can see, we successfully started the webcode project. And here it is showing that the project is started in our local host port 8080. Let's open this. This is the interface of the webboard project. So here you have to log in. So by default, you don't have any account. So you need to register yourself as a new user. So I already have an account. So I'm going to just log in. From the next video, we're going to see how you can perform various attacks like broken access control, SQL injection, cross-site scripting and a lot more. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, then like it, share it with others. And if you're new to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe.